course, with a lot of, uh, especially clinical data or MRI um, data, uh, can be obtained post contrast uh, because this, uh, yeah, it's it's often prioritized in the clinic because uh, you want to look for new lesions. Um, so we had this data set with a lot of post contrast images that we wanted to use um, for um, uh, volume segmentations. Uh, but that method is not really validated. Uh, we used FreeSurfer and it was not uh, validated for FreeSurfer. So we wanted to look um, more into what the, this um, uh, contrast enhancement uh, does with the volume measurements. So we just compared uh, images uh, with the exact same acquisition protocol taken in the same scanner visit, both before and after gadolinium contrast um, administration. Um, and we compare them and what we found was that there was um, uh, systematic differences, uh, especially in the grey matter uh, volumes, which were uh, larger after contrast enhancement. So there was a systematic uh, difference, um, but the consistency was good to excellent measured with uh, ICC values across uh, all investigated um, areas.